Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Symprosis. In this video, we are going to see how the schema markup must be done. The ideal structure of schema markup for a product page must contain at least two snippets in the schema markup, product snippet, and offer snippet. There must be only one product snippet for a product, or a variant of a product having multiple variants. And as per the Google Shopping requirements in offer snippet, the attributes like price currency, price, condition, and availability status of a product or a variant must be there. Google tries to verify these attributes which it submits via Google Shopping Feed app or any other app for Google Shopping campaigns and schema markup is used to check the following four attributes of a product. The currency of price. The currency of price in the schema markup for the product must be the store's default currency. For example, if the store's default currency is USD, then the currency should be in USD. Or else it may raise warning the property price currency is not recognized by Google for an object of type product in the schema in microdata analysis of that product. Price The price attribute in the schema markup of a particular product or variant must contain only the price without currency symbol and comma. Failing to fulfill this may lead to invalid price specification warning in the microdata analysis of that product or variant. And also, price as shown must be exactly the same as the price value in the feed for each variant or product in the analysis. Otherwise, insufficient match of microdata price information warning is raised in Google Merchant Center. Condition The product's condition must be specified for each product or variant. Variance condition must match the condition shown through microdata analysis, or else it may raise missing condition warning in Google Merchant Center. The condition attribute in schema markup will be with three conditions, new, used, and refurbished. For more information, please follow the link given below in the description for condition attribute. Availability Availability indicates the stock status of a product. It can be in stock, or out of stock. Our app does not support the pre-order value of availability attribute. If the stock status of a particular variant or product is submitted by the app as in stock, then schema markup must show it as in stock, and for out of stock product or variants it has to show out of stock in the schema. If there is a difference in the stock status for a particular variant in the feed and microdata analysis, it may raise mismatch in availability details between feed and microdata warning in Google Merchant Center. Points to be noted while implementing the schema markup for a product. For the ideal setup of schema markup, schema coding of only one product, or of only one variant, for the product having variants should be there. More than one product or variant schema coding in microdata analysis can create conflict and undesired data may be considered by Google. The correct schema markup must have the same price, availability, and condition of the product or variant URL in the analysis. Here is how you can check the price and availability status for all the variants of a product in the schema markup. In Google Shopping Feed app, go to the product that has a microdata related issue or issues. Here in this example, I will walk you through a sample product, exclusively created for this demo. Now, here we have a product with three variants. Small, medium and large. We will check the schema for the small variant. Here we can see the price of a variant as 800 in INR, and availability status as out of stock. Now in the same line, there is a microdata analysis link for the small variant. Click on it to check the values entered for product price and availability status is same as on the product page for this small variant. Here in the microdata analysis, the price of the small variant is 800 in INR and the availability status is out of stock, which is same as in the feed for that particular variant. Now for medium variant, the price is 1000 in INR and the availability status is in stock in the feed. And in microdata analysis, the price of the medium variant is 1000 in INR without any comma in the price value. And the availability status is in stock, which is same as in the feed for both the attributes. Same for large variant, the values for price and availability must be same on the product page and in the microdata analysis.
For all the three variants, make sure to match both the values, that is the one submitted by the app, in the feed, and the one shown in the microdata analysis. If the prices shown on your Shopify store are not including VAT or GST, Google expects you to submit the feed with prices including VAT or GST for some countries. Microdata analysis must have prices including tax as well. Similarly in your case, if values on microdata analysis don't match with the values submitted in the feed for each and every variant, you must get this microdata coding corrected in your storefronts theme. Many times, theme developer add schema markup in the coding of similar or related product snippet on the product's detail page, which is actually not needed and must be avoided. When there are multiple product snippets of related or similar product section, Google crawlers may pick up the values of other products which are not matching with values of the product in the analysis, and again may raise mismatch errors in the Google Merchant Center. Schema markups offer snippet must show the values of only one variant, and not all. Otherwise, it may result in multiple offer snippets in the product snippet in schema markup. The variant is also considered as a product in the terminology of schema markup. There should be only one markup implementation of the schema. More than one implementation may confuse Google crawlers. We strongly recommend for inline HTML coding of schema markup and discourage the use of JSON-LD markup. We have observed that condition markup added via JSON-LD is not read properly by Google crawlers in most of the cases. If there is any discrepancy in the values submitted and values shown in the schema markup, Google will flag errors or warnings on such products if they do not match. Whenever there is any such error or warning on any product, it must be fixed otherwise affected products may not perform to their potential. In some cases, it can lead to the suspension of your Google Merchant Center account. And also, if there's an error related to price, condition or availability, you will see them as a warning or error in the Google Merchant Center. It will also show a number of probable clicks you lost because of that error or warning. The affected past clicks based on the affected percentage of the total number of products on the diagnostics page in Google Merchant Center. For example in this case, Google says approximately 57% of the products don't have condition markup in the schema and approximately 36% of the clicks are affected. It means that 57% of the products were supposed to get 100 clicks and you missed 36 clicks. To make the fixes and get the schema markup corrected with the attributes, you should take the help of a theme developer if you yourself are not good at coding. If you don't have any developer around you who can fix this issue, kindly request our support team by writing us at support at symprosis.com. When requesting our assistance, kindly mention that I have seen the video, and, we don't have any developer who can do it. So that, we don't send you back to this video again. Once you have made any changes in the coding for any of the attributes, and microdata data analysis link shows exactly the same value for each product or variant, you need to wait for 7 to 10 days for them to get updated as Google crawlers takes approximately 7 to 10 days to review the product and fix those errors. Hope this helps. If you have any other query or if this does not help, kindly write us at support at symprosis.com. Please subscribe to our channel to remain updated with our feed optimization and marketing videos. See you again in another video.